And that first problem, of course, is 8 and 5 eighths minus 2 and 1 third. And you'll notice that we've already set it up. We have the common denominator of 24. 3 times 8 is 24. Notice I've written the whole numbers, 8 and 2, and I've put that subtraction symbol in to remind me that I'm subtracting, because otherwise I might be tempted to add. Well, 15 24ths is equivalent to 5 eighths. 8 24ths is equivalent to 1 third. I subtract 15 minus 8 and get 7 24ths. 8 minus 2 is 6. Can we reduce 7 24ths? Well, 7 is not divisible by 2 or by 3 or by 5. It is divisible by 7, but 24 is not divisible by 7, so we cannot reduce this fraction. The answer is 6 and 7 24ths. Now that wasn't so difficult. Here's another problem. 7 five and 5 sixths minus 3 and 3 fourths. Notice again, we've got it set up. We write the whole numbers, we put the subtraction symbol, the minus sign, and we have our uh, common denominator of 24. 4 times 6 is 24. The numerator is 20 in the first fraction because 5 times 4 is 20. In the second fraction, the numerator is, let's see, what is the numerator? It's 18. 18 because 3 times 6 is 18. So now I subtract. 20 minus 18 is 2, so 2 24ths, and 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 and 2 24ths, well, that can be reduced. The 2 24ths, both of those are even numbers. I divide top and bottom by 2, and I get 4 and 1 12th. In this case, we use 12, because both 4 and 6 uh, divide 12. We get 10 12ths minus 9 12ths, which is 1 12th, and of course, 7 minus 3 is still 4. We get 4 and 1 12th, and by using the lowest common denominator, we did not have to reduce.